So in this media, we are going to discuss about uh, your unloader. Okay, so I had a lot of query regarding this. So I thought let me cover. So this is a typical block diagram you see here, the first stage and the second stage. Okay, you have also moisture uh, separator. So solenoid drain or hand drain valves. Okay, second stage solenoid drain and hand drain valve. So this is the first stage and this is the second stage okay there we have the an air outlet with uh, which is by the non return valve okay so uh, when we go what is an unloader actually okay so if we talk about an air compressor okay so it is a valve or a device which is used in the air compressor to release the trapped air inside the compressor chamber and tank discharge line when the motor stops so when the motor stops so it will automatically stop now because there is a continuity of the flow of the air from inside the uh, from the compressor to the air bottles okay so there will be some amount of air which will be trapped in the compressor chamber also and in the lines also okay this allows the motor to start up to the what what we do we release this air okay when we release this air then what happens second time when you start because there can be a deadlock situation okay you are you will not be able to start the air compressor so what it does so after releasing this excess air this allows motor to start up easier so it will draw less current in general there are two types of compressor and loader valves electrical and mechanical we are going to see both of them Okay, so what is this load unload cycle? In a load unload control scheme, the compressor remains continuously powered. Okay, so uh, and however, when the demand for compressed air is satisfied or reduced, you must have seen that you put the compressor in an auto mode. Okay, and uh, what happens? The compressor starts suddenly whenever there is a drop of the pressure in the air bottle. Instead of disconnecting power to the compressor, device known as a slide valve is activated. This device uncovers part of the rotor and proportionality reduces capacity of the machine down to typically 25% of the compressor capability, thereby unloading the compressor. This reduces the number of start-stop cycles for electric motors over a start-off control scheme in an electrically driven compressor, improving equipment service life with a minimal change in operating cost. So what is happening? You are uh, improving the uh, life because you you only imagine now you will suddenly all together you'll stop the whole system and again you are starting it the whole system okay so it becomes little uh, typical in that sense okay so uh, capacity reduction slide valve that we are talking about is a twin screw compressor okay then you can see here this is the valve that we were talking about just starting to open at minimum load the valve is moved by a oil pressure so there is a oil pressure which acts and the valve moves slides okay acting on the piston shown on the right okay so there is a oil pressure which act on the piston and the valve moves suddenly all together okay so unloading we understand it in uh, more details okay Unloading is a normal procedure during starting and stopping of the compressor. So it is done. Remember one thing. So it is done in the start of the compressor and in the stopping of the compressor. When starting a compressor motor, since the load on the motor is very high. So you must have seen we are using different different types of even starters. Okay. Uh, uh, starting current is also high in order to avoid further loading of the compressor an unloader arrangement is provided because after the once once because there, there is more torque which is required in the beginning to start a compressor because the motor is at a standstill condition so you are you are, you are supposed to <clears throat> start it again from a very uh, standstill condition so again in order to avoid further loading of the compressor an unloader arrangement is provided which is normally pneumatic or solenoid control and which releases the pressure during the starting of the compressor once current comes down to the running value the unloader closes automatically normally a timer function is used for operating and closing of the unloader so there is a normally timer function which is available which is helping us to normally close uh, these sort of things air contains moisture and during the compression process some amount of moisture gets released liquid in any form in, is in incompressible so as you all know that is the reason why we are even blow blow through we do blow through in the main engine because liquid is incompressible and if some amount of oil water mixture is present inside the cylinder then it will damage the compressor to overcome this problem and uh, 
unloader is used during starting unloader comes in action and releases all the moisture accumulated inside the cylinder so there are two function one was of in the first point we have discussed about that in the very beginning when there is a lot of torque and current which is required there is no extra load which is there so we drain the line okay so what is so what is here what we are doing we are draining the line because there can be some oil or oily mixture or water can be present intermediate operation of unloader is also selected so that during the process of compression any moisture or oil accumulation cannot take place inside it okay during stopping the compressor unloader is operated so that for the next start the cylinder will remain moisture free so during stopping it is why it is there because in the next cycle it, is, it remains moisture free. The function of an air compressor and loader valve is to release the remaining air from the compression chamber and relative line when the motor turns off. Okay, so this is a typical diagram you see here. Uh, D is the, this is the safety valve that is there, that is present here. We have tank discharge line. You see here, this is the tank discharge line. Okay, you see here. <clears throat> then we have E as the unloader valve. Okay, sorry, F. F is the unloader valve that we are talking about. It is a solenoid type you see here. This is the unloader valve. Okay, uh, this is the safety valve on the tank. This is a typical uh, you must have seen on petrol pump and all these types of compressor. Okay, before the compressed air reaches, uh, so we are not going to discuss uh, this functions and all how a compressor uh, working or uh, whatever it is. Okay. So we have types of unloader valves. First one is a mechanical unloader valves. Okay, this type of unloader valve works according to the pressure differential. It opens when the pressure reaches a predetermined pressure value. So we, there is a predetermined set value and it is working on that uh, all together. So you must uh, remember all these things. So this is the mechanical type that we were uh, discussing about. Okay, so uh, you can read the extract if you want for your convenience. So this is the mechanical type that we were uh, discussing about. Now electrical unloader valve, a solenoid valve is an electrically operated device that controls the amount of air that passes through a line. It shuts off release or doses the flow according to the system requirement. Heavier compressors from 5 kilowatt often work with a star delta system to reduce the motor starting current compared to a direct starter. Okay, we have a star delta. This is the reason. This motor starts with the star connection and then it switches from a star to delta circuit. During starting the compressor air is unloaded in the first few cycles to a free outlet rather than to the tank to reduce the required torque of the motor. For this a solenoid valve is used as an unloader valve. Okay, so I hope it is a self explanatory. So there are three types of solenoid valve, direct acting, semi-direct acting and indirect that is pilot operated acting. The direct acting valve function depends only on an electromagnetic field created in the solenoid coil to close or open the valve. And indirect valve depend on the system uh, pressure differential. The semi-direct acting valve combines the function of a direct and indirect. Okay, so we have then solenoid valve. So this is the diagram that we are talking about is a uh, solenoid type we have all together. These are the component. These are coil, armature, spring plungers, membrane, inlet port, output port. Okay, all these are there. Now there, uh, there we are going to discuss about the difference between mechanical versus uh, solenoid unloader valves. Can be manually adjusted. This is the type which can be manually adjusted. Adjusted at the pressure switch or timer. Okay. Now we have uh, based on the timer, cannot be operated with a timer, can be operated with a timer, can be installed at any position, should be installed upright or with a maximum deflection of 90 degree. Obstruction, not sensitive to dirt, more sensitive to dirt when a mechanical than a mechanical valve. Application, a mechanical unloader valve is commonly used in smaller compressor less than 5 kilowatt. Okay, in heavier compressor, three phase motor, the unloader valve used is typically an indirect solenoid valve so these are the selection criteria that on what basis we select that is capacity maximum or operating pressure electrical control okay connection type and size solenoid valve material and ip classification ip65 rating and all uh, so uh, uh, 
installing an electrical unloader valve when replacing and installing uh, these are the different procedure that is given there so these are not generally asked in the exam but if you want for your reference i have just mentioned it here you can uh, watch it with your uh, own time and whatever it is okay so thank you so much so i hope all the three functions uh, for unloader that is clear for you in this video and uh, what are the different types of unloader what are the different functions of unloader and all those things are also I guess clear with this aspect and what is the difference between a mechanical and a solenoid uh, type unloader okay so all these things are I hope uh, clear for you in a very uh, brief manner thank you so much